Hi there, this is the final part in our series on using Scrum with a combination of Jira and Confluence. If you missed out on the previous videos, don't worry, I'll put links to those in the description below. So in this video, we're going to focus on the final part of the Scrum diagram. What's that? That's the Sprint Retrospective. And in the previous video, I spoke about the Sprint Review and at the end of it, how we should ask our stakeholders to politely leave. So why don't we begin by talking about why we do that? Why don't we have stakeholders at our sprint retrospective session? And then we'll get into what's involved and how we can complement this session with Jira and Confluence. All right, let's do it. So now the room just has the scrum team. Those stakeholders have left. And why is that? Well, we want the sprint retrospective to be an open and honest session. And what you'll find is if stakeholders are there, your team won't be, again, as open and honest. Now, of course, there's always exceptions to that rule. And if you find it's more beneficial to have your stakeholders there, then by all means, keep them there and discuss things together. But in most cases, you'll find that you'll reap more rewards by just limiting it to the Scrum team. Now, why do we want the Sprint Retrospective to be open and honest? Well, it's going to be a frank discussion about the team's quality and effectiveness. And so what that means is they're going to be discussing where they're lacking, where they need to get better, what needs to be improved. And typical areas for improvement can include um, individuals and interactions, how people are collaborating and communicating with, them, with one another. Sometimes it's the tools that they're using, the processes that they are following. It can also be artifacts that they are leveraging from the Scrum framework, like the definition of done or the product backlog or the sprint backlog. So there'll be discussions around, okay, how do we improve these things? So it needs to be, again, open and honest session. So how do we run a sprint retrospective? Well, it can be done in a number of ways. And if you want some inspiration, you can just go to Google and type in sprint retrospective techniques and you'll find plenty of options out there. Uh, if you would like to check out our blog on Access Agile, we've got a few techniques there. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'm going to just focus on what we can leverage from Jira and Confluence to help with this sprint retrospective session. So let's head over to Jira and have a look at what we can utilize. Okay, so at the sprint retrospective, there are a few reports that you can check out that are built into Jira. The two that I'm going to call out now are the burn down chart, okay, number one, and the velocity chart. So here's a, an example of a burn down chart in Jira, and it basically plots the amount of work remaining day by day inside the sprint, and it will tell a bit of a story. And with that story, you can discuss with the team what, what occurred, okay, and why did it happen? So for example, here, you can see that the team had a big step up in work remaining a few days into it. So we can say, hey, what happened there? They probably added their estimates late or added in a few unplanned items, but at least they managed to get through the work by the end of the sprint there. Uh, most teams, uh, you'll probably find that they don't get through all the work. Sometimes there's still some remaining. Again, a really good conversation started to say, hey, what happened there? Why didn't we finish off our sprint plan? Uh, how can we get better at making sure we do finish it off? All right, so the sprint uh, burn down chart's a good one to have a look at. And also the velocity chart. So the velocity chart over here will show you the committed number of points and the actual completed points inside the sprint. Again, a lot of teams don't always get through all that they committed and it's good to have a discussion about what went on there. So you could see that this team, the gray bar, they predicted they would get through that many points, about 35, but they only got through about 10. Uh, so the velocity chart is a, another good one to check out. Now, finally, you can use your uh, sprint report. We looked at this before. 
And on the sprint report, yes, it shows you the burn down, but it also says, hey, retrospective time. And if you want, it will create or push you towards confluence to create a page to capture ideas on how to improve. So for example, you just hit this create uh, button there. If you don't see that, you can always click the view linked pages and it'll show you. But we just hit create and it takes you over here to confluence. And in here, what you can do is there are a couple of templates that you can use. And so you just type in retro, if you like, in the filter there. And you can see we've got the four L's retrospective or the, the standard retrospective. So you can go check out those two templates, but it's your, your, your basic retrospective where here we're gonna capture what should we start doing, what should we stop doing, and what should we keep doing. So your general uh, questions that you might ask and, and get the team to think about at a retrospective. And then very importantly at the end, come up with a few action items that you're going to bring into the next sprint to help continuously improve the team and their processes. And that's a wrap. We have now covered off the Scrum diagram at a high level and how you can complement it with a combination of JIRA and Confluence. Now, if you would like to view more in-depth videos, go check out the description below and I'll provide links to others that you can check out. Now, if there are particular topics that you're interested in, Scrum related, Agile related, of course, and you don't see videos for those, let me know, put them in the comments below and I'll add those topics to our video backlog. And finally, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon so you get notified of when we publish our next video. All right, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.